You're watching Minity Maths. In this video we are going to explain how to simplify ratios, and how to work with ratios that include decimal numbers, mixed units, and fractions. Make sure you have a go at all the practice questions at the end of the video. So, what is a ratio? Ratios are used to show how amounts are shared and compare to each other. Ratios are used frequently in everyday life. Ratios are written like this and can also contain more than two numbers. We read the colon as two. For example, two to three to five. See if you can work out the ratio of green to pink counters here. We can do this by counting up how many counters of each color there are. We have 10 green counters and four pink counters. We can write this in the form of a ratio. 10 to 4. But can this be written in a simpler way? Just like with fractions, we can actually simplify ratios to make them easier to read, compare, and visualize. To do this, we have to divide each number in the ratio by the same factor, any factor that will divide into all numbers. Remember, we must do the same to every number in the ratio to keep the proportion correct. The easiest way to do this is to find the highest common factor of all numbers in the ratio. This is the biggest number that will divide into all of the numbers without creating a decimal. So let's simplify this ratio of the counters using its highest common factor of 2. To do so, we divide all numbers in the ratio by 2. So this tells us that for every 5 green counters, there are 2 pink counters. We have a ratio of 5 to 2. Sometimes it can be beneficial to simplify the ratio in this form, 1 to n, or n to 1. This is often the easier way to compare the different proportions in the ratio, even though you may be left with some decimals or fractions. Note that the n is a variable placeholder for the number you will eventually calculate. Let's look at an example. We want to reduce the ratio 8 to 44 to the form 1 to n. To do this, we locate the number which needs to be written as 1, then divide all numbers in the ratio by this amount. In this case, 8 is the number we need to reduce to 1, as 8 is in the same position as the number 1 in the questions ratio. So we divide 8 by 8, leaving us with 1. And then divide 44 by 8, leaving us with 5.5. So we have a ratio of 1 to 5.5. However, for exam questions, only simplify this way if you are specifically asked to do so in the question. Now, what if we have a ratio containing some decimal numbers? How can we simplify this and make it easier to read? Well firstly we can get rid of the decimal by multiplying both sides by a multiple of 10. In this case we can multiply both numbers by 10 to turn 0.8 into a whole number. Remember that whatever we do to one part of the ratio, we must do to all parts. So we also multiply 2 by 10 to get 20. We now have a ratio of 8 to 20, but this isn't in its simplest form. So, we simplify the ratio in the same way you have learnt at the beginning of this lesson. We divide both parts of the ratio by the highest common factor of 4. This gives us a ratio of 2 to 5. As you can see, this simplified ratio is much easier to read, compare, and visualize than the initial ratio of 0.8 to 2. How about if the ratio contains mixed units, such as pounds and pence? It is difficult to compare values when we have mixed units, so simplifying to a ratio with a common unit helps us to easily compare these amounts. Firstly, we need to convert the ratio to include a common unit. To do this, choose the smallest unit, which in this case is pence, and then convert the other number to the smallest unit. So here we have converted 3 pounds into pence, which is 300 pence. Now we can simplify the ratio as we usually would, by finding the highest common factor of all numbers. In this case, the highest common factor of 90 and 300 is 30. So we divide both parts of the ratio by 30. Lastly, we should remove the units, as ratios are not usually written with units. So 90p to 3 pounds can be written in the ratio 3 to 10. 
Finally, when ratios are written with fractions, we can only simplify once we have all fractions written with the same denominator. As it's very difficult to compare amounts when written like this. Let's look at this example of a ratio with mixed fractions. We first need to find a common denominator and rewrite the fractions. 4 is a common denominator for these fractions. Check out our video linked above if you need help with finding equivalent fractions. To convert these fractions to quarters, we can leave the first fraction as it is, as it is already a quarter. We multiply the second fraction by 2, and the third fraction we divide by 2. Now that we have rewritten the fractions, we can convert them to whole numbers. To do this, we multiply all the fractions by the same value as the denominator. In this case, we multiply all the fractions by 4. This gives us a ratio of 5 to 14 to 3. The final step is to see if we can simplify the ratio. However, in this case, our ratio is already in its simplest form, as there are no common factors. So we can leave it as it is. Let's look at what we have learnt in this video. Now have a go at these practice questions, and pause the video while you work them out. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Minity Maths for weekly videos.